Hello everyone, Fretter Metal here, and um, I just got back from uh, recording with Baseball Boy, and my friend who I don't mention often, but uh, every now and then, check out his channel. Uh, I think we, we just got today, uh, the 19th, when I'm recording this, uh, we went through like half of the post-game world of the Kirby and the Forgotten Land, the, the Kirby game on the Switch here. Um, pretty good. Um, kind of similar to this, you know, remixing old stuff, but adding a lot of extra challenge, you know? Um, but since there's such a variety of Pokemon, I can, um, go entirely monotype, weak type, as you can see. In this case, Steel, against the Fire type, uh, Team Star boss. And so, trying to get the right moves here. Um, Got to admit, high, her high horsepower is kind of risky. But, I mean, I really would have preferred Earthquake. I prefer not to use, like, inaccurate moves. I feel like every now and then it'll... I'll not work out, and then I'll lose. And I think that happened once or twice in this playthrough. Um, I'm not sure. I've recorded a lot up to... Uh, so far, in terms of recording uh, the game, as of recording my voice, post-commentary, after recording the game here, uh, as of my voice recording this, I've gone up to the rematches. I've yet to do Grusha and Aerie. And, um... And I forget what I was gonna... S I, I don't think I ever really used that Protect. Anyway, time for a losing attempt. I, I kind of expected to be faster to survive that. And I didn't. I also expected fire move, which, well, it was raining, so maybe she might have thought that Dark Pulse is better. And I couldn't do anything, I don't know why there, but yeah, that Hound Doom is not messing around. Um, so here's Mela. I think the first, um, boss that we've seen in the trailers. And in my opinion, she's the prettiest. I mean, granted, it's still a student and all, but... So, you know, technically, you could say that... Like, the most attractive I find is instead, maybe Katie? Either Katie or Tulip. I kind of go back and forth. Katie's nice, but Tulip is prettier. But Tulip has, like, so much makeup, it, it's... It's... It's a bit unsettling. Anyway, uh... The same strategy as before, Rain Dance with the Heat Proof uh, ability makes fire moves do slim to none. Um, or not much. And that Flame Wheel, yet again, also not too much. I could have gone for Don- the- not Don Fan, Iron Treads, but <laughs> I didn't want to waste it on this little thing, you know. Also, the, I really had to switch. I don't know if it went for Yawn before. Yeah, it looks like it, it did. I mean, that's how the game works, right? If it's not a KO, the game decides to just go for an effect move, you know? I don't think... Yeah, this thing... The first battle didn't have that... I think I clipped out a little bit. That's odd. Oh yeah, maybe I had to stop recording, or keep recording, or pause recording. Yeah, I, every now and then I get a phone call and I have to pause the recording. <clears throat> uh, anyway, um, RK9 is a Pokemon. I had to think about this and I figured, you know, what's this thing gonna do? I guess it could maybe bite, but it didn't, so that's okay. Nice thing about Weather Ball here is that it is double power, so a hundred power when in the weather. 
So really, if you can get a cast form that's pretty fast, I, I don't think cast form is in this game though. In a future game, if you get a pretty like a you know cast form that's fast with the weather on already, you could maybe sweep through a team with weather ball. Pretty good move. Um. Anyway, nice thing about Iron Treads here is that it's very fast. It's kind of a trend with the Violet um, Time Paradox Pokemon. And it's great against this thing because Armor Rouge is very dangerous. But I guess I just decided to go for this. I guess I figured Earthquake isn't a one-hit KO. Maybe I experimented before and realized that, so I figured we like make it slower, right, right? And go for something that's not so fast. Oh, right, uh rain dance. Yeah. So take a hit, rain dance, maybe weather ball. Yeah, I'm faster. Uh, as you might guess, it's been Maybe a two weeks since I recorded this video game after, I mean, before I recorded voice. Now there's a catchphrase sort of thing indicating that you're gonna get the, the signature move, the type move of the signature Pokemon. Very appropriate that we're dealing with an Armor Rouge, right? You know, because Mela is the one who evolved a bunch of Charcadet for the machines, for the Starmobiles, I guess. Speaking of lore, I think, like, I guess all the Team Star bosses were students who were, like, really picked on, like, really bullied. <laughs> and I guess, but in Mela's case, oddly enough, the reason why she was bullied was because she was too pretty. Instead of being, like, you know, a ninja like Atticus or being kind of a, like, um, a sissy boy like Ortega or a wrestler, Airy. I mean, that's kind of odd, right? Uh, and Giacomo has, is kind of nerdy, I guess. But, you know, it's, I don't know, bull bullying is, is, it's, it's all over the place. You know, people can be jealous, people can just want to pick on somebody because they feel better than them it's, it's all this stuff so we, we got a whole story going on here you know how I haven't really used coal or car coal much like I used it against the steel thing once uh, the reason why is because it has so many weaknesses like oh I guess Oh, I see. So I decided not to one-hit KO it because I could. Um, I figured I'd do something else, I guess. Like this. Or this. Yeah, I haven't used Corviknight. Or I used that anyway. Uh, maybe I explode on it? Let's see how much this does. Cool move. But it doesn't do it. Yeah, I should have figured, right? This big hulking coal monster. Gonna have a lot of defense, and it's a rock type. And, um, Fortress is not really good at attack. Anyway, uh, I figured I could finish it off. You know, we got the rain, so I can take a hit, maybe even a crit. Or maybe critical hits bypass the rain. They, they bypass a couple of things. Also, that's an odd move, I guess. I don't know why I made that screenshot. But anyway, I win. With a Corviknight. Really nice Pokemon design. It's just not one I use much. But it's nice to have used it. I skipped Sword and Shield, so... Good to be able to use these Generation 8 Pokemon. Quite interesting designs, you know?